Hello, today we're going to have a look at Micronaut JWT authentication. For reference, this is the uh, document that we're going to use to create it and the link will be available in the description below. So we'll just get started to explain what it is that we're doing and how we're doing it. So the first thing that we need to do is add some dependencies. Uh, here we just need the Micronaut security annotations and the Micronaut security JWT. Once this is done, we can go into the application.yaml file and add a couple of settings here. This is what we're going to need here. So under Micronaut, add the security. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the authentication for a bearer token. And the token will be generated using a secret key, which is going to be this one. So change this in your own project, uh, make it a, a, an environment variable or secured uh, in an encrypted file or something. Just make sure that it's safe. And once this is done, we can just go ahead and add the authentication provider. So we've just added it here under the security package. And all we're going to need to do is create the uh, override authenticate function. So the difference between the tutorial and uh, this function here is that we're going to be using a database to validate the credentials. So here we have the get identity and the get secret from the request, which is essentially your username and password. We've injected a account repository and we're going to be validating those credentials with the database. So we can see here if we follow through to the account repository, uh, we're going to use the DSL con context to access the database and we select from users where the username is equal to the username and where the password is equal to the password. So as long as a user exists, um, we're going to consider these credentials as valid. So the other thing is that we, we're going to get the roles for the user as well. So this is from the user roles DAO and uh, fetch by username. So we just stick all of those uh, roles into a list. Uh, so we'll go back. You can see that happening here. So if, uh, if we have the valid credentials, we uh, return these user details with the username and the roles. Okay, so once this is done, uh, we can essentially start logging in. So what's cool about Micronaut and the security uh, configuration is that implicitly we're actually creating a login controller. So we don't have to create one here. Uh, this is implicit. And uh, Micronaut will use this authenticate uh, in order to validate those requests. So. This is cool because uh, we can also validate using basic authentication. So within the headers, we can include your username and password. It will use this or uh, validating through the login post request. It will also use this. Um, I've also included the authentication tests. If you're curious about how it works, there's a couple of them here, but I'll just go through the last one. Uh, what we're doing essentially is we're creating a post request to the login. We add the credentials here, so you can see uh, the username is username and password is password. And we expect a response to include this bearer token in the body, right? And with this access token, we can then make further requests, uh, in this case to the get user path, uh, assigning the bearer uh, access token and we can get the response and it's as expected. So let's go through with what, what's happening. So if we go into the account controller, this is uh, what the test was looking at, uh, the get user path, right? Uh, all we needed to do is add the secured annotation to protect this entire controller. So anything inside here, such as this get user um, function is protected using the secured annotation. So the security role is is authenticated, which essentially means that uh, we're not really checking the roles here. As long as uh, the user actually just exists, uh, it's fine. So you can extend this further by making sure that you know the user has a role, for instance, admin or just a standard user or etc. But at the moment, this is just a straightforward is authenticated. And that's uh, what's happening here. The other thing to mention is that you can see uh, we're adding these credentials. Uh, these credentials have been injected in this migration file. So where I've created the table for users, I've created the table for user roles. I've also seeded two, two values. So one of them is the users. You can see uh, values, username, username, email, email, and password, password. And this is what we're going to be validating against. 
um, inside your account of controller, you, you can maybe create another uh, unsecured register path uh, or maybe just create another controller if you want to, uh, doesn't really matter. And um, you can register your users through an unsecured uh, function. Um, and, and that's what validates it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the application. I'm going to test this on Postman so you can see it working live. Uh, but the implementation is relatively small, surprisingly fast to get this working. So let's see it. I'll just go through uh, what it is that we're doing while it's starting up. So what we have is the request. It's a post request to the local host. Uh, port is 8081. Uh, again, this is configured through the application.yaml server port. Uh, the endpoint is login, so this is implicit. Uh, this is configured through essentially your Micronaut security configurations. Uh, the body of the request will contain the username and the password. And again, this was seeded through the migration that we just looked at earlier. And there's no special headers or anything like that. No special headers or params. So let's just check if it's live. It seems to be completed. So let's go ahead and send this request. As soon as the uh, server started, it always takes a while for it to... Uh, I don't know, speed up, boot up, whichever, so you can see it took a while there, but uh, the subsequent requests will be super fast. And uh, the response is uh, this, so we've got the username, we've got the roles, and we've got the access token, so this is what we want. And we can copy this and go to our next request, which is uh, this get request for get user, and in the params, we've got the username, username, so this is the user that we've uh, essentially seeded. In the authorization, we're going to add this token. And what this does is just simply add this authorization uh, token. Uh, it adds the bearer and here's the token. So we can click send and we get our response. Uh, and we get this response because that user is authenticated. So try that again. Oops. And if we actually modify anything here, so for instance, we change this to A, it's not going to be authorized, right? And this is because this token is invalid, okay? And that is it. That's, that's JWT with uh, Micronaut. So, have fun.